Today on Board Ball, the Almost series continues. Let's do this. Ah! Ah! You. I was about to shot at you. No, I do it again. You shot the heck of words. Action. No! Stop the time lapse. Cat. Start the time lapse right off. What are you doing? What just happened? I'm gonna be fun. All right, it's fun. Hello and welcome to Board Ball. My name is Ed and today we play game two of the Almost series. The game is APA and I am playing the two teams from the 2014 set that lost in the championship series round. This series is between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Baltimore Orioles. Can Baltimore tie the series or are we going back to St. Louis with a decisive edge? Let's find out. The starting lineups are the same. Uh, today's pitching matchup is between Lance Lynn for St. Louis and Wei Yin Chen for the Baltimore Orioles. All right, so we filled out our scorecard. Lineups are set. Pitching matchup is set. Let's do this. Matt Carpenter v. Wei Yin Chen. 52. That is a 27. And that is a ground out to, first, ground out to third. For those of you who know APA, both teams are reading off of the Fielding 1 chart. Colton Wong. 14. That is a 30. And that is a fly out to left. Two down for Matt Holiday. 25. That's a 9. He is a great B pitcher, and that is a single. Okay, so we're not done yet. Matt Adams. 21. And that is a 30. And that is another fly out to left. Okay, so now we're done. Bottom first, leading off, Adam Jones. 54. And that is a 32, with the bases empty, 32, and that is a fly out to right. One out for Deaza. 51. That is a 9. He's also grade B, so that is another single. So, teams have traded singles so far. One out and one out for Manny Machado. 25. 25, that's an 8, and that is a, interesting, out at first, runner to second. Must, must have been a slow roller to third base. So, man on second and two out for Chris Davis. 63, and that is a 13, which is a strikeout. And, after one... We are scoreless. That's not nice at all. Oh, no! Oh, actually, wait, no! 
it's two outs. So, that is a single scoring the run. We have a run. We have a score. Any runner scores when there's two outs on that number 11 result. Because if there were less than two outs, Peralta would have been gunned down at home. And then batter steals second on the next pitch. So that is another stolen base for Borges. So now Borges is on second. And it's 1-0 Cardinals. Matt Carpenter. Ah. Corners for Chris Davis. 61. That's a 41. <gasps> Double steal! Jones scores. Machado takes second. Wow! So we still have a man on second and a run in now for Chris Davis. Man, that's gutsy with two outs, huh? There's a man on second and one out. For Matt Adams. That's a 31, which is a 9. And... Alright, let's check how it is. Running speed. No! Oh no! 31... That is a nine. He is a slow runner. So Holiday is out at home. Man on second and one out for Nick Marcakis. 66. That's another zero. 43. And that is a seven. Single to right. Runner scores. Nick Markakis gets it done. And it is two to one Baltimore. And a half at the stretch at the stretch it is 2-1 Baltimore <laughs> two down for Colton Wong and that's a 33 which is a zero And that's another 33, and that is a 1, and Cold Wong has tied the game all by himself. Cold Wong with a solo shot, and we're tied at 2. I believe it's at this point, I think it would be largely prudent, to take Lance Lynn out. Lance Lynn was fantastic, but his day is done. And we are going to turn the ball over. Definitely not to him. Definitely not to him. Nah, not really to him either. Uh, let's see. We give it to him. Seth Mass. It is the top of the ninth. And the score is Baltimore 2, St. Louis 2. So we are going to go with the standard. So so we are we are going to go with the standard uh, way of thinking for the home team, and for the home team, this is their only chance to get a save, and they blew it. So we are going to find the guy with the most saves and put him in there. There he is. Oh, there he really is. Okay, man, his feeling rating is just as good. So that is Zach Britton. Uh, his grade's a fun one. He is an A and C pitcher, which means that he is a grade A unless 
the result on grade A is a hit. Then we read the result on the grade C column. Leading off, Matt Adams. 61. That is a 41. And that is a error on Adam Jones. Boy, did he pick a bad time to kick one, huh? So, man on first for Yadier Molina. And that's a 12, which is a 25, and he makes up for it. That is a 4 6 3 double play, and just like that. That, that error, that base runner, is completely negated. So, two out and nobody on for Randall Grichuk. That's a 16, which is a 28, and he is not a K, so that ends a ground out to the shortstop. And nothing comes of that error, so it is the bottom of the ninth, with the score still tied at two. Now, I have a choice to make. Do I leave Seth Manis in, or do I bring in somebody a little bit more scary? I think I bring in someone a little bit more scary. Now pitching for St. Louis, Pat Nishak. Pat Nishak v. Kelly Johnson. 43. That's 29. And he is an X. In fact, he is an X, a Y, and a Z. So it means he's going to be striking out a lot of people. So once again, that was a 43, which is 29. And since that's an X, that's a strikeout. Okay. One out for Adam Jones. That's an 11. That is a 5. That is a great A pitcher. And that is a double down the right field line. Adam Jones is on second and one out for Alejandro De Aza. And that's a 51. 51, that is a 9. And that is a ground out to the shortstop, a slow rolling ground out to the shortstop, because Jones advances to third. So there's a guy on third and two outs for Manny Machado. Let's see what he does with this. 64, that is a 39, and he popped out to the pitcher. We need extras. Britain stays in to face Johnny Peralta. 45, 45, that's a 14. That's not a good sign. And that is a, yep, he's not. So that is a leadoff walk. So that's leadoff walk. Peralta's on first for John Jay. 24, that's a 13, and he struck him out. So, man on first and one out for Peter Borges. And that's a 43, which is a 29, and that is a, looking at the wrong thing, and that is a Oh, he's a Y, so that is another strikeout. So, man on first and two down for Matt Carpenter. 56. Yep, that's 56. And that is a 13, and he strikes out as well. So, got the leadoff walk, and then struck the next three guys out. And here we go. We have reached the bottom of the 10th inning. Bottom 10. Leading off the bottom of the 10th inning, Nishek stays in because, I mean, why not, right? Nishek stays in to face Chris Davis. Thirty-one. That is a 14. And that is also a leadoff walk. That sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? All right, man, I'm first and nobody out for Steve Pierce. And that's a 44, and that is a 7, and that is 
a grade A pitcher, seven. That is a ground out to third, advancing the runner. So there's a man on second and one out for J.J. Hardy. 14, that is a 30, and that is a fly out, and the runner holds, so. Nick Markakis. That is a 34, and a 34 gives us a 31, and that is a fly out to center field. So once again, the leadoff walk solves nothing, and we're going to the 11th inning. Now, if you excuse me, uh, I need a new score sheet. I'm just going to use one of these guys. And we need a new pitcher. Give me a guy, at least a save or two, or at least a good ERA. Sure, we're going to go with him. Now pitching, TJ McFarland. Drops the Orioles fielding score to 42, but whatever. Still, still fielding one. Leading off the 11th, Cole Wong. It's a 26. And 26 gives us a 13, so once again, somebody heroically strikes out. One out, nobody else, and that holiday. 25, that is a 9, he's a grade B, and that is a single from Adams. That's a 22, that's a 0. I did that backwards. There we are. And that's a 31, 31, that is a 2, and that is, he's a grade B, and that is a triple along the right field foul line, down the line, and Matt Holiday scores, and that is the first triple of the, of the game, and it is now... 3 to 2, St. Louis. The man on third. Briati Molina. That's a 12, that is a 25, and that is a. and that is a line drive double play. That is a 4 5 double play, a line out to the short, line out to the second baseman who threw to third and got him. But one run is a cross. And after ten and a half innings, it is three to two St. Louis. All right. So we need the closer for the Cardinals, which is Trevor Rosenthal. Trevor Rosenthal, he's a grade B. X, Y, W. All right. So here we go. Bottom 11. So leading off. The bottom of the 11th inning, down one, is Matt Wieters. 32. 32, that's 26. With nobody on base. Yeah, 26. That is a ground out to second base. One out for Kelly Johnson. That's a 16. That is a 28. And that is a ground out to short. And it is now two outs, nobody on, for Adam Jones. And that's a 15, that is a 10, and we're not done yet. That is a single. Adam Jones is on first, and two outs for Alejandro de Aza. Unless, all right, do we have anybody with real serious home run power in here? Let's find out. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Pinch hitting for Alejandro de Aza. Nelson Cruz. Man of first, two down, bottom of the 11th, down by one. Yeah. We're doing it. 66. It worked like a charm. That is a pinch hit, two run. Game winning home run! Wow! Oh man. So, 
TJ McFarlane gets the win, and Trevor Rosenthal gets both the blown save and the loss. Man, with that exciting ending, the series is now tied at one. So that's going to do it for this edition of Board Ball. My name is Ed. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the bleachers. <laughs>